What's up guys, Chris here with Houseplant Therapy. I hope your day is going great. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to propagate a snake plant using a leaf cutting in soil. So there's three different ways to propagate a snake plant. You can put the cuttings in water, or you can put them in soil, or you can kind of cut away at the babies, and that's a separate plant in itself and replant that. But what we're gonna do today is we are going to take a cutting and we are going to place it in soil. And I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks that we've learned through our experience. All right, so what you wanna do is you wanna get some soil ready and the snake plant is from the succulent family. So you're gonna want a fairly dry soil, just like a cactus mix will work fine. This is kind of a, a DIY soil mix that we put together. And fill it up about halfway. That way the, the cutting can kind of lean on the side of it. That really helps. So then what we're going to do, I'm gonna take a little seat here. So there's a couple different options. Like I told you, you can do water or soil. It seems like soil is the most popular. So step number one is to make sure you have a clean pair of scissors or a blade. And what you wanna do, what I advise you do it, to do is to cut at the bottom of the leaf if possible. That way you can kind of hide the fact that you cut the cutting or, or the leaf essentially. Or what you can do is you can cut, you can cut one of like the ugly side leaves as well. Um, it really doesn't matter, but let's cut this guy. So there's a couple different ways to do this. Some people say that if you if you cut the leaf at an angle, that it's going to do better. Some people uh, say if you cut it at a V, it does better. I don't know if I believe any of that, but it is what it is. So then what you can do is you literally kind of just plop it into the soil. Um, well, actually, for starters, what you want to do is you want to let this dry out for a couple of days, just uh, just to kind of let it callous up, and uh, then you want to repot it in the soil. But for the video's sake, we're not going to do that. What happens though, if you don't let this callous over, a lot of times people just plop it in there, and then they deal with rotting. It's really common for this plant to rot when you do that. So um, just imagine that I let this callus over for two to three days. Literally what I do is I just plop it in the soil and kind of just let it lean. And uh, a lot of people get impatient with these cuttings because this plant, it could literally take five months for, to get roots this long, which kind of sucks. Um, what, we find a, what, what we have found with our experience, actually we found to be better than just going straight into soil. What we do around here at Houseplant Therapy, make sure to subscribe and like the video. Um, what we do is we start a lot of our snake plant cuttings, uh, the leaf cuttings in water. And then like in two to three months, uh, you put this on like a windowsill, make sure to give this highlighting because this plant loves highlighting. And once you get roots that are about an inch long, what you wanna do is you wanna sneak the cutting out and then put it in soil. The trick is to make sure those roots get about one inch long. That way they're not fully transitioned to water roots. And then you can transition these new roots into soil. So then just, you'd put them in there like a little bit like that. Um, just kind of holding up the leaf. A couple of tricks once you have the leaf in the soil here, um, what you actually could do um, before actually planting it is I forgot to tell you, you can use rooting hormone. And what we do is kind of just sprinkle it at the top of the soil, just because, um, you know, you don't need a lot of it, but a lot of people swear by this stuff. And uh, what you do is then, uh, you wanna make sure that this leaf kind of stays moist. And if you think about it, when, when watering the leaf, you don't have to completely like soak all the soil. We have really good luck kind of just using a sprayer and kind of just lightly spraying like that surface soil, if that makes any sense. And what you wanna do is try to keep this as moist as you can, like uh, check on it every other day. Um, that's kind of the battle with propagating the snake plant in soil. It's because the leaf demands so much water. That's why we find we have a, a lot more success putting the leaf just directly into water because the leaf is just demanding so much water. Uh, like I said, uh, our best method is to just put the leaf directly in water, wait two to three months so the roots are about an inch long, then transition it to soil. I feel like you're going to have just better luck with that. All right, guys, you got to hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what's going on. Are you trying to propagate your snake plant in soil from a leaf cutting? Um, please like and subscribe to the channel. We're doing tons of awesome things around here on the channel. 
Uh, we love houseplants, if you can't tell, it's our life. So uh, I guess without further ado, I'll see you in the next one.